Hey, LeBron, Frank opened his presser by congratulating you on passing Wilt uh, for the all-time field goals made list. And I, I think the number is 12,691. Uh, this is, of course, with players trying to keep you from making shots. You just wonder how that number hits you and just kind of thinking about how many times the ball has had to go through the hoop, just that thing itself. Um, you know, the number doesn't uh... – you know, it doesn't do much, you know, for me. I think it's just the the, uh, the association with, with a legend like Will Chamberlain. Um, that, that does something for me because I, I, I'm a guy who uh, grew up, you know, reading about the game, studying the game, studying the, the, the players, the post, you know, post press, past and present. Um, you know, so I, I wanted to see who um, was dominant in their era or, or who laid the groundwork for, for young kids like myself who started to play the game when I was nine years old. And, um, and, and Will obviously was a big staple of that. So, um, you know, <laughs> defense has definitely been trying to stop me from putting the ball in the basket throughout my, my career. And, uh, you know, I've been able to, um, you know, for the majority, been able to score a few buckets and, and then have my name linked with some of the greats that ever played this game of basketball. So, you know, it's very humbling. Um, you know, it's get, it, always, it always gets me thinking about my, my upbringing growing up in Akron, Ohio, and, and, and things of that nature. So pretty cool, Pete. Hey, you've also spoken about, you know, wanting to – take out any weaknesses in your game and the evolution and thinking about the field goals made earlier in your career, probably more at the rim. You're still scoring at the rim, but to add the three pointer to this degree, to be shooting over 40% at this point of the season is, is how do you, how does that hit you as a, that point of pride for the career? Uh, I, I've never put a ceiling on, on my ability to continue to get better. And uh, I've always had a growth mindset on how I can get better with my game. And, um, you know, I, I wasn't uh, too fond of the short off season because I, I didn't really get an opportunity to kind of dissect, um, you know, a part of my game where I wanted to get better at. But, um, you know, I use, um, you know, use the time, you know, wisely and, um, you know, mostly for my body, mostly for my mind, you know, with the short off season, but also, you know, just, you know, come back a better player. And, um, and I feel like I'm a better player than I was last year. Um, I feel like, um, you know, I can, you know, you know, beat the defense at, at any facet um, once I cross half court. Um, so, um, I think it's just uh, it makes our team that much better when when I can improve and, and I feel like I, I've improved my game. Dave, Bob, you set obviously that that scoring mark tonight, but your passing uh, seemed to change the game somewhat in, in the third quarter. When you're doing it against a, a guy like Jokic, who gets so much credit. Uh, for that, rightfully so, you've credited his passing in the past. Is there any game within a game? Is there any satisfaction uh, in having impressive passes against a guy who's known for doing the same thing? No, I think my my job um, is to put the, the ball on time and on target, um, and, and not turn the ball over. You know, I'm, I'm not going to have some turnovers, but you know, for the majority, put the ball on, on time on target to my guys. Um, either for layups, for threes, for, for dies, for cuts. Um, and, and, um, and that's my job, you know, and, um, and, and, I, and I would probably say it's the same for Joker as well. You know, um, you know, we do take chances that a lot of people in our league don't take, but we have the ability to connect on a lot of those things. So uh, we, we take those chances. And, uh, you know, the best thing about it is we have some really good receivers, and, and our receivers run their routes. And we just try to put it there where, where they can catch it and not the defender. So and, uh, and that's what it comes down to. Kyle. Yeah, LeBron, um, there were some defensive effort plays that really stood out, um, like Dennis doing the double dive for the loose ball and, and forcing the play clock violation, and, and Kuz coming back blocking Michael Porter Jr. from behind. I'm wondering, did those plays make a difference in, in sparking the team, especially as, as you guys started getting more stops on defense and, and locking down in that third quarter? Absolutely. I mean, you just said it best. I mean, we hang our hats on our defense. We're number one defensive team in the league, and we want to continue that. That's what we, that's what we hang our hat. When we're playing well, we defend it. We're flying around. We're helping one another. Um, you just said to see minutes dive on, uh, for a loose ball twice in the same possession. Uh, you know, you've seen Kuz come back into the fray and get a, and get a charge on Jermichael Green. Um, you know, also get a block shot on Monty Morris coming back into play. Um, you know, guys were just flying around. I thought uh, our bigs did a great job on Joker tonight, just trying to keep a body in front of them. Make him take some tough shots, um, you know, and our guards did a, a hell of a job, too, on, on Murray, even though he had some tough shots, but just trying to keep a body in front of him. And, you know, we all just try to do our part. We all try to do our part, work on a string. It's five guys on the floor, and we try to work on each, uh, work together. And when we do that, you know, we're very, very good. Last three here, um, Dan. Hey, LeBron. Uh, kind of two 
two sort of quick ones, maybe. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. I guess that's up to you. Uh, the, the first question is, um, there's going to be an all-star game, and I'm just kind of curious as to your sort of level of interest slash excitement about that. And then on a totally different note, um, you talked about not having a ceiling for yourself, and, and, and you've said that a few times. Uh, what's there still left to do? Um, you know, what's there still, to, like, where, where do you want to get better? Still, as you continue to play. Well, I'll answer the, first, uh, the second question first. Um, you know, for me, for my game, um, you know, I don't really put a, 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 a list together. Uh, um, I, I kind of break it down after the season, see, okay, you know, was I, where was I less less efficient at? Um, you know, where can I be more efficient at? Um, you know, and um, and I just, like I said, I, I, I've said it over and over. I don't try to put a ceiling on my game. How ways I can improve? Ball handling, free throw shooting, three point shooting, low post. Uh, posting front back to the basket, uh, face up, um, you know, mid range, um, you know, coast to coast, things of that nature. Just things that, that that will always keep defenses, uh, you know, off balance. You know, how do how, how do we try to stop them? You know, um, you know, and for me, I, I feel like if I'm a, uh, the most complete player I can be, um, then it makes our team even more dynamic. So, you know, that that's just my thinking. Um, to their second question, um, I have zero energy. Um, and zero excitement about an all-star game this year. Um, you know, I, I don't even understand why we're having an all-star game. Um, but it's the agreement that the Players Association and the league came about. Um, you know, short off season for, for myself and my teammates was 71 days. And then coming to the season, um, you know, we were told that we were not having an all-star game. So we had a, a nice little break, uh, you know, five days from the 5th through the 10th, you know, an opportunity for me to kind of recalibrate for the second half of the season, my teammates as well, some of the guys in the league, and then they, they throw an all-star game on us like this and, and just breaks that all the way up. So um, pretty much a kind of a slap in the face. Um, and, you know, we're also still dealing with a, with a pandemic. We're still de- dealing with everything that's been going on. And we're going to bring the whole league into one city that's open. Um, so, you know, obviously um, the pandemic has absolutely nothing to do with it at this point um, when it comes to that weekend. Um, so um, obviously you guys can see I'm not very happy about it, but it's out of my hands. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll be there if I'm selected. Um, but um, I'll be there physically but not mentally. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.